Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Bidding and in today's video I'm going to be showing you really easy step by step how to make it. This is a match to the leaf earrings that I did in my previous video, but the colors are different. So it looks like a completely different jewelry, but in fact it's not. And um, if you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit that bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos. If you want to support me, you could like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And I will show you really easy step by step. So I'm sure by the end of this tutorial, you will be able to make it. You could also check my new merch store where you could find t-shirts, hoodies, pillows, mugs, phone covers and so many other stuff and the designs are made especially from me for you and they help you express your personality better and uh, they are a great present for your bidding friends and uh, uh, when you buy stuff from there you support me, my channel and my mission. You could find links down there in description and here at the eye icon. And now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so for this video what you're going to need are three colors of 11 o seed beads and you could use 10 o seed beads as well. And I'm using here a clasp and a jump ring. Here uh, this is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice and I'm using size 10 beading needle. These pliers I use to attach my jump ring and I squeeze my monofilament to go through size 10 beading needle. But if you use regular beading thread, they are made flat and they easily go through this uh, needle. And I'm using here scissors. And now I'm going to start by taking about 90 centimeters of thread, which is about 3 feet. Okay, now I have my thread on my needle. And I will start by taking 12 of these beautiful seed beads okay I have my 12 here and I'm going to slide them down I will stick my needle in my mat and here I will make a knot so I'm making a loop and I'm going twice through the loop I've made and I'm pulling now this is what I have I have a beautiful circle of beads here. And I will go through six beads in this direction, like that. I will take just one seed bead. And I will go through six beads in the other direction. Three then three more and here I will add just one C bead so I'm adding two additional C beads here and what I do is that I want to go out of one of my angles formed by the newly added C beads okay so I'm exiting here and what I want to do is take one green bead, one yellow bead and one green bead and one green bead and I'm going back in circle through this green bead at the angle here. Then what I want to do is go through just one C bead in this direction and I'm going to take two yellow beads. And as I'm exiting from this green one, I'm going through these two greens. You see where I'm going with my needle. And this is called right angle weave. And this is formed by four beads like a cross. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And my elements of four share common beads. Okay then I will exit out of my next green bead and here what I need is green and yellow okay and again I will go through two seed beads making in this way a cross of four 
two of the bits of my cross here that I'm forming are already there. That is why I'm adding only two. Okay, if my explanation is difficult, don't worry to remember it, just follow the instructions, okay? Then in my next step, I will add two yellows. And again, I'm going through two greens. So I'm alternating two yellows and one green and one yellow. And before I add them, I always go through the next bead here. Then again, I'm adding one green, one yellow, going through these two beads. And if you can, in one movement, go even through the following green. Then it's time to add two yellows. Two yellows. Go through these two greens and if you can in one movement through the following. Okay. And then guess what? It's time to add a green and a yellow. And I'm going through this yellow and through this green here. And in my next step, I want to exit here at the top. And here at the top, I want one green and one yellow. And I will go through these two greens. Now I have the same thing I had here, but here I started by adding three beads. Here I'm adding only two because one of my beads here are already added. And uh, these two elements share this bead. Then I'm going to the following C bead. If my explanation is uh, hard, don't try to remember or follow it, just do what I'm showing. Okay, then I have two yellows going through two greens. And if I can, oh, in this way, probably I won't be able to do this. But if you can, go through the following green as well. Okay, it's somehow tight, this one. Okay, that is why I will go in my next step through it. And I will use my pliers if needed. Okay, then again a green and a yellow. Going like that. Two yellows. A green and a yellow two yellows and here guys in my last step I should add a green and a yellow but the green is already there from my first element. That is why I will add only yellow and I will go back through the following yellow. And also through these two greens. Here you see I still have a cross of four, but three of them are already added, so I'm adding just this one, okay? And in this way I'm closing my circle, okay? Then I will go through this yellow bit here. And here I will start forming my next row, and for my next row I need a red one. Then a green one, 
then again a red one okay and I'm going here through the following skip it one red here where the reds are my flowers are forming and the others are splitters between them okay Okay, now this is what I have and I'm going to start my next row. And for my next row I'm going through this red one and what I want to add are three yellow beads and I'm going back in circle through this uh, red one and through the following yellow. Then I'm exiting out of this green here where my thread is. And I'm going back in circle through the green and here you see I have something like a loop between those greens then I will go through the next yellow and the next red one adding three yellows and going back in circle through the red through the yellow and through the following green one green going through it and through the following two three going back through it and through the following two one green And here what I need to add are three yellows again at the angle bit. Okay. And one green. And I'm going to continue the same way. Okay guys, and now I'm adding my last green one here. And my element is ready, but I usually would like to make additional thread pad around the edges to make it stay better, in better shape. Uh, you could skip this step, it's uh, enough to do it this way, but I just prefer doing this. And how I'm doing this, I'm going through this yellow, then through the following tree, yellows here then through these three yellow green yellow I'm just fixing them it's not obligatory but I find it look better at the end and not move so much okay that is why I'm going around the edges of my work Okay, and I'm going to do this and when I come up to here, I'll be back to tell you how to make your knots. Okay guys, and I went around all of my beads here. 
and now it's time to make some knots and in order to make a knot I'm making a loop here between the beads where I am and then I'm going once and I'm going second time through the loop I've made and I'm pulling and you could repeat this several more times and when you're ready cut your thread okay now my first element is ready I will make more and more elements and I will be back to tell you how to connect them in a bracelet okay guys and now I made seven more elements and I'm ready to connect them in a bracelet now I will take three feet of thread on my needle which is 90 centimeters and I will start okay I'm taking my first element and I will show you how I'm adding my new thread here okay in order to add it I'm going with my needle here link my thread and what I want to do is make a knot so I'm making a loop here and I'm going once going second time through the loop I've made this is the same way I'm making knots when I finish my work and I'm going through this yellow bead here then here at the edge then what I do is that I cut my tail thread and I want to take my clasp and take one yellow bead uh, sorry two yellow beads going through the clasp then two more yellow beads and I'm going back in circle through this yellow here and I'm pulling then I'm going through these two yellows and I will reinforce my work okay and now after my work is reinforced I want to reach here at this other end of my work my element and I will do this faster by going through the center of it okay and I'm exi exiting here at the edge now I will take my next element and I will connect it to this one okay and I will take a green bead as I'm exiting from this yellow I will go to this green pulling then I will take one more green bead going here through this yellow and I will reinforce this connection okay guys now I will go through the whole length of my element and I will connect the same way the next element and when I up to the last element I'll be back to tell you how to finish your bracelet okay guys and now I connected all of my elements the way I showed you and now it's time to show you how to attach your jump ring okay I will take 
five seed beads my jump ring and I will go back to this yellow one here and in this way I'm forming a circle of six beads here I have one and I'm adding five more and forming a circle of six now I'm going to reinforce it and make some knots Okay, I'm flipping my work because it's easier for me and now I will go through some beads in this direction and I want to make a knot and I'm making a knot by making a loop going once going second time through the loop I've made I'm pulling and I will make more and more knots and when I'm ready I will go through the following seed bead and cut my thread okay and now my bracelet is ready okay guys and now my bracelet is ready so if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit that bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos and uh, you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and uh, if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i posted below this video i will be so happy to see your creations you could also check my new merch store where you could find pillows hoodies mugs t-shirts phone covers and so many other stuff and the designs are made especially from me for you and they are a great present for your bidding friends or for yourself and when you buy stuff from there you support me my channel and my mission and you could find links down there in description and here at the eye icon thank you so much for watching bye bye from me